My name is Alistair Lee, and in this video, I'm going to walk through some of my favorite new features of Adobe Connect 12. Let's start by creating a new session. I'll hit Create Meeting. We'll call this What's New. One of the biggest new features of Adobe Connect 12 is enhanced audio video experience. Enhanced audio and video changes the way Adobe Connect delivers screen sharing, webcam video, and audio, both voice over IP and telephony. We're able to move from an older monolithic architecture that was required to support the flash-based classic view to a new modern cloud-native infrastructure that can scale dynamically. It uses modern audio and video codecs and delivers the data more efficiently. The result is a major improvement in audio and video quality in Adobe Connect. You should immediately notice higher quality and lower latency in all of your Adobe Connect sessions. Enhanced audio and video is on by default in all Adobe Connect 12 meetings. I've also got a new option here as I'm setting up my meeting to choose to anonymize recordings. If I turn this on, I can set all recordings to always anonymize. This will hide the attendee names in the attendee pod, the chat pod, and the Q&A pod. I can also give hosts the option to anonymize their recordings as they create them. This will give a host an option when they begin the recording, whether they want to anonymize the recording or not. There's also a new option here to enable or take away access from mobile devices. If you've set up a very rich virtual classroom, for example, you may want to force people to come in through a desktop. I'll hit finish and let's enter the room. As I join my session, I'm presented with an entry screen that's new to Adobe Connect 12. This screen enables me to select all of the audio and video devices that I'll use in my room and also configure them. I can choose whether they're on or off as I join the meeting. For example, over here in the audio dialog, I can choose which speaker I'm using. I can control the volume of that speaker and just test my speaker to make sure it's the right one. I can do the same thing here with my microphone. I can select which microphone device I want to use. I can see whether it's working or not with the gauge here, but I can also test my microphone and even record some dialogue to ensure that it sounds great for everyone. I can also decide whether my microphone is muted or unmuted as I join the session. And I can do the same thing over here with video. Select which video device I want to use and decide whether my camera should be off or on as I join the session. I'm going to turn both of these on and click Enter Room. And now as I enter my Adobe Connect Room, my microphone is automatically connected and on, as well as my webcam. So this is much easier now to come into rooms with all of your devices connected. Let's turn my webcam off for a second so I can show you the new webcam menu. If I click on the drop down, or actually just click on the icon itself with my camera off, it'll open up the camera menu. We've moved the camera preview to the menu itself. This should make it much more obvious whether you're seeing a preview of your camera or sharing your camera for everybody in the room. I've still got the option to enable webcam for participants with a single click in this options menu. I can also choose to share my camera for everyone. And under that same menu, I can also pause my camera. In fact, we've made improvements to many of the menus in Adobe Connect. You're now able to do things like test your microphone from the microphone menu or test your speaker from the speaker menu. If I click on the video pod options menu, you'll notice a new single speaker view available as an option along with grid view and film strip view in Adobe Connect. When I choose single speaker view, Adobe Connect will only show a single speaker, even if multiple people have their cameras turned on. I can combine this with another option to automatically spotlight the active speaker, and that will change which video feed is being displayed to everyone based on who's speaking at any given time. That new spotlight speaker option works with both the single speaker view as well as the film strip view in Adobe Connect. 
Back to the grid view, we now support up to 50 video streams in Adobe Connect. Our new enhanced audio video architecture makes it easier for us to fully support 50 streams with no issues. As you get more than 25 streams, you'll notice the video pod becomes paginated. You can click from one page of videos to another page of videos automatically. The raised hand icon has also changed. We wanted to make it more obvious whether a hand has been raised or not, both for somebody who has visual impairments as well as those who don't. So you'll notice a, a different icon as the, the hand is raised and lowered as well as a change in the color of that icon. Over here in the top right is a new icon to exit the meeting. This replaces the end session icon that was available only to hosts in previous versions of Adobe Connect. This new icon shows up to hosts, presenters, and participants and enables everyone to exit the room with a single click. If I click on the icon, I am given a confirmation dialog box. There is still the ability to end the session for everyone, only for hosts, so hosts have a drop-down associated with this icon that also enables them to end the session for all. Before we do that, though, let's take a look at the experience from a participant who's logging into this session. I'm going to make sure that Enable Webcam for Participants is off in this case, and we'll have somebody else join our session. Here we'll have Lisa Orange join the session, and you'll notice that as she accesses the setting, the login is now passed over to the Adobe Connect application if she's got it installed. This is important because it means that the application can now remember her login, so ideally she will not even have to log in as uh, she joins most Adobe Connect sessions. In this case, she can enter as a guest simply by typing in her name, or if she does have credentials, she can join as a registered user. The logic in terms of which one of these options is shown is based on the access settings you've got for your room. So if your room is set to registered users and accepted guests, or it's set to anyone with the URL, then we'll show this new screen that hides the registered user information unless a user clicks, join as registered user. I'll click Enter Room. And now because Lisa is a participant without webcam rights, she's only seeing the audio setup dialog. She can then request entry to come into the room. And I've joined the room again, this time in a browser to show you another new feature in Adobe Connect 12. If I move to my sharing layout, you'll notice that I can share my screen. This is despite the fact that I am using a browser right now rather than the Adobe Connect desktop application. So I can select whether I want to share my entire screen, my window, or a tab within my browser itself. Pick my entire screen here and click share. And I'm now sharing my entire screen with everybody else in the meeting. When I do screen sharing through a browser, I don't have access to the mini control palette to preview my screen share or to see what chat's going on. But it does mean that I can do things like screen sharing from devices such as Chromebooks and Linux systems, which wasn't available before. I'm going to go ahead and record this session. Adobe Connect automatically gives my recording a name. And you'll notice a new option here to anonymize the recording right from the start. This is because I set up that option as I was creating my meeting. And I gave hosts the ability to determine whether the recording should be anonymous or not. I'll click on Start Recording. And that will start a recording of my Adobe Connect session. Now, one of the biggest changes in Adobe Connect 12 is a change to the recording format itself. Now, rather than creating a proprietary recording, we create an MP4 video file. This means that I don't have access to all of the interactivity that I had in previous recordings in Adobe Connect, but I do have access to an MP4 video that can be distributed quickly and easily as soon as my session ends. Let's go ahead and turn off that recording for now. I can pause the recording or stop it. I'll stop my recording, and then from the meeting menu, I'll navigate to my meeting information. And here under meeting information, I can browse to my recordings tab, 
and you'll notice that almost immediately I've got access to my recording now in MP4 format. I've got a link here for my recording that I can distribute. And when somebody clicks that link, they'll get an MP4 video that plays back in their browser. You'll notice here in the attendees pod that it's been anonymized. It says user one. The same thing is true up here in the video pod. It says user one as my label because we chose to anonymize this particular recording. And those are some of my favorite features in Adobe Connect 12. A brand new enhanced audio video experience that improves audio and video and screen sharing in Adobe Connect. A brand new entry screen that enables users to quickly and easily select which devices they want to use and connect them automatically. Major improvements to the video pod, including a new single speaker view, support for full HD 1080p resolution, as well as multiple 720p HD streams. UI optimizations, a brand new spotlight speaker view, which automatically tracks the active speaker and makes them the focused video. We've got ease of use improvements across the entire room, including improvements to the raised hand icon and the exit workflow inside of Adobe Connect. Major improvements around screen sharing inside of a browser, as well as the ability to display multiple videos now inside of a browser client when joining Adobe Connect sessions. And of course, improvements to recordings as well, automatically creating MP4 videos that can easily be distributed to everyone and with the option to anonymize those recordings to make them even more available. We're extremely excited about the improvements coming to this version of Adobe Connect 12. We hope you love them as much as we do. Thanks for your time.